Hello everyone, so we have here Call of Duty, so we will be using this game to change the controls of the blue stacks. Um, this video is about how to change the controls and also how to change the controls if the smart controls has stopped working. In some games the smart controls doesn't work as it's supposed to be. So for that purpose we, we have to change it to custom layout and all. So first of all get in the game in whichever game you want to change the controls and go into their control layout menu. I tried to change the, I mean, I tried to get to the control layout menu of uh, here, the Call of Duty, but I, for some reason here I can't click the custom layout. So for that purpose, I think I have to get inside a game. So I was, I will just get inside a team that match uh, game inside, and after we get inside, we can change the controls in there. But but let's see here. So wait, sorry, my bad. As you can see on the corner of the blue stacks, you can see a keyboard controls editor icon there. Click on it, and after you click on it, uh, this will pop up. So right now it's on the smart, and if you if you are not on smart, then you can just go ahead and click on smart, smart layout, and it will it will just form the whole profile of the smart. So it will be there, and if it's working fine and all. Just click on save and just play with the smart. But if it's not working fine and you need to some, you need to get some custom layout scheme. Well, and if you want to place them like rightly, they're wrongly placed and all, then go ahead to multiplayer. And then now you can see it's quite less, right? The controls are quite less now. So try to see if you want some custom keybinds and all, then just go ahead. So let's say we are not, we don't want, uh, oops. We are already dead. Okay. We don't want the free look to be F1. Okay. So the here the free look is F1. Remember that. So for that purpose, just left click on F1. Then click your middle mouse button. So now it's fixed to middle click. Now whenever you, sorry my bad. So whenever now you middle click, the free look will appear. And if you press the middle click again, then it will turn back to your mouse controls. So then your mouse will mouse cursor will appear instead of the free look. So that's how you can change any of the key binds here according to your wish. Now let's say you want don't want the 5 to be here. So let's say you want the 4 to be here. You can just drag them with your left mouse button and just keep them as you want. And don't forget to save. Every time you have to save. Every time you make a small change, then too you have to save. Or else it will just revert back to original. So be careful about that. And I hope my mic is off right now. <laughs> yeah, so that was the mic's placement. So it was off. So be careful about that and uh, make sure to save it or else again it will revert to its original so that's it for the changing controls for the uh, call of duty game be it any game you can just come over here uh, and then select any one of the control profiles here and i i re really recommend using the smart one when you use the smart one it is quite really smart and it understands what you need to um, do let's say if you enter the vehicle with F then it will again use the F to exit out you know it's quite smart or else it uh, let's say another example let's take another example for this um, W maybe pressing the W keeping it pressed uh, and then then it will just you know sprint so it's smart really so it helps so just uh, try using the smart but if the smart but smart option does not work out well for you just go ahead choose the multiplayer or the battle royale and uh, get all of this um, you will get all of these keybinds and all and if you want to change it just drag them and then change it according to your wish i will just put them back to your original okay one more thing so, so if you think that you have messed things up and all then you as you can see here there is a reset button so just click on the reset button and it will this will pop up and click on reset then now you can see all of them are again reset and back to their original position and you can see also the f1 changed we don't want the f1 as the free look right now the f uh, the drag to look or whatever you want to call it so we'll just click on it and then left click on it and then press the middle mouse button and then there you go it's middle click now and don't forget to save save it so now you go now you have the middle click as the free look and the mouse cursor so that should be good uh, my team teammates are just getting destroyed <laughs> anyway so that's how you do it and all i think you can drag the wasd or you can change the w2 but i will just let it be as w so i'll save it again so that's how you can change the controls in here i think i uh that should have helped so i hope uh, you guys um, got something out of it and it helped you guys so we will see I will see you until next time then, hopefully the video helped, later.